toivottavasti isi osaa laittaa noin kunnolla paikalle. So our precious little baby girl was born a few minutes past midnight on a Saturday night. We had no inclination that that was going to be the date of her birth. Uh, we had just thought that we we're going to a regular pregnancy checkup, hopefully my last one. Uh, so Vinod's parents had returned to home earlier that day because I was still staying at the hospital for some further testing and monitoring. By the time that it was very, very late uh, at night, I was rolled into an emergency C-section. And while I was there getting this precious little girl out of me, Vinod was alone at the hospital with the hospital cat. Fortunately, later on that night, he was able to have his friend drive also mommy to the hospital so that he would have help and maybe emotional support there for himself. But daddy still stayed at home. But later uh, that same day, once I had been rolled into our family room from recovery and wake up, uh, Vinod went to pick up also daddy, so then we were there at the hospital, the whole family, and pretty much immediately once uh, mommy and daddy were there together, they started calling through the whole big extended big fat Indian family with the happy news that we have a baby girl. It was of course a very wonderful thing that we were able to have the whole family there at the hospital and not just me and Vinod uh, because at that point after something that is considered a major surgery I was in need of a lot of rest and in my own opinion also food but I was not allowed to eat anything for the like about first 24 hours so I was just like uh, I had an IV drip and 7 p.m. On the Saturday, I was allowed to drink and have a biscuit. And then uh, later, like or very late that evening, I was allowed to have... Oh my god, I can't even remember uh, the name of that dish anymore, but something like... Uh, they called it rice water or something like that. And let's just say that it made me rather hungry. Uh, but then, thankfully, I got a huge plate of breakfast the next morning and that made me much happier. <laughs> Who's eating all the idiot pump? <laughs> I'm surprised that Lidli is still so soft, even though it's cold, mm. but it's still soft. One and a half
It was very good that both mommy and daddy were there because there were so many things that needed to be taken care of. So daddy was running around the town on all kinds of errands. He was the one in charge of my uh, food deliveries since there were some like uh, strict rules about what I was allowed to eat even during the like hospital stay after I was allowed to uh, start eating solids. Uh, he went searching for those foods and also something that I would hopefully like. And also all the medication because uh, instead of the like hospital giving the medication they just give the names of those and then we're supposed to like go to the pharmacies and get them. And then of course because I was like strictly in bed rest and I was still like under heavy medication and uh, a lot of pain and it was very difficult for me to move properly so mommy was also uh, mostly taking care of uh, Annika and uh, I was mostly like kind of trying to have her in the bed next to me and then of course like uh, trying to start the breastfeeding but I would say that due to the like surgery and uh, it having been like two weeks before my due date and then heavy medication and no food for a long period of time I had a little bit of like issues in starting the breastfeeding I had very less milk coming from my breasts even though now it's getting better but uh, we started giving uh, formula from the bottle to Annika at the hospital and still continue to do so because she's really trying to catch up in her growth. Yeah, that's the thing that matters, but I'm trying very hard to get the breastfeeding going because <laughs> against my initial assumption of how I would feel about breastfeeding, I'm absolutely loving it, so I really hope that it starts going better. But she's growing, so that's what matters. But we had also previously, before the delivery, agreed that we would be also giving her the bottle because uh, I find it something very important to uh, include Vinod in Annika's care so that he can also have that kind of bonding experience with her. This, I, I would say that in my own, own opinion, like I bond with her the best when I am holding her and feeding her. This is something that I really want to address in like a separate vlog of its own in the near future uh, because there have been so many comments about the fact that I gave birth in a cooperative hospital and not in a private one. So I just really want to say that I was very happy with the care and facilities that I had there and there were absolutely no issues on like because of those, because of it being a cooperative hospital. Of course, there were some like cultural differences, and I would have maybe liked to have a little bit of more emotional support and guidance. Uh, but when it comes to the like medical care 
and uh, all of that. I was like extremely happy with the staff and especially my doctor, who was absolutely amazing. If we have a second child and if I give birth to also that child in India, I would very much prefer to do it in maybe this same hospital if possible, instead of going to any private hospitals. Then on the day that we were getting discharged from, from the hospital after like, three nights at the hospital on Monday, uh, before we left home and got the like whole discharge process taken care of, we also went to the nearby government hospital to get Annika's first vaccinations. There we have little Annika in daddy's arms. And that's the direction we're going to, uh, towards the government hospital here in uh, Bayanur. This is, by the way, the first time I'm outside of the hospital walls in since Friday, anyways. And uh, yeah, obviously also the first time for the baby. And now we're heading towards uh, government hospitals vaccination program. I don't know. I, probably I'm more nervous about it than the baby because she doesn't know what's coming to her. Mm. Let's hope it goes well. Yeah, we're getting BCG, I think. Vaccination. Yeah, that was the tuberculosis? Yes. And thankfully there is <laughs> three of us to take care of this one little precious package there. Mm -hmm. I think this is it. I don't know if you have to use toilet. I don't know if you have to use toilet. I don't know if you have to use toilet. I don't know if you have to use toilet. I don't know I think this is much prettier than the voice church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the right side. Right side. Oh. oh, it's a long walk. <laughs> mm. uh, maybe it's also the walking that helped me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least the indoor facility there was like cleanish. Mm. Just a little painful. <laughs> Maybe more for the baby than for the mommy. <laughs> Daddy would understand. Even though it didn't look a very uh, appealing option to go there when we were still outside and I was a little nervous about taking my newborn there because it was so uh, crowded. What matters most is that we got her vaccinations and uh, we got the schedule for the further ones so that we can take care of those easily. And I think that experience was more painful for me than it was for her because it was not very nice uh, hearing her cry because of the uh, needle. Then we got to finally leave the hospital after those wonderful first few days that we were there. That also made me feel like quite secure in taking care of her and comfortable. It was very good to be at the hospital for uh, several days so that 
if I would do something wrong, there would be a professional there to help if uh, anything happened. <laughs> You're leaving, we're going home now. Kohta pääset tiukkaan käydä. Nyt pääset oikeaan kotiin. Isi ja äiti viekko. Joo. We went to a restaurant first, our, our regular Pyrrhic spot, Dazadine, so that also Annika could experience her first proper Gerala meal there. And what a darling she was, because she slept through the whole thing and didn't make even one noise. So she is very good at visiting places. Heräsitkö? Sitten herät, kun äiti pääsee ruokailemaan, tietysti. Seuraavaan tuntiin äiti ei saa syödä. <laughs> so we have already finished our meals and now we're just waiting some juice here to freshen us up. And this little gal here made no noise during the dinner. Yes, aren't you perfect? Good minute. Oh, yeah. Sleeping the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea what's happening. Finally got to start our family life here at our own house, setting up our routines, our rules, and what are our preferences in her care, getting her more comfortable with being here out in the world. <laughs> Just as I entered. Yes, this is your house. Cotona, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is she smiling? Yes. Hola, <laughs> Cotona. That's a sarcastic smile. <laughs> <laughs> this is the house. Come the piano, Cotona. 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 Cotona.